Mrs. Hallway here and I'm going to do a little art class with you this morning and I've got my little three artists with me. I've got Edward Giveawave, Imogen and Alana. So we're all going to be drawing together today. We're going to do a little step-by-step -step badger and I thought it'd be really lovely if you draw along with me. I'm going to draw a bit and then you can draw a bit. I'll draw a bit, then you can draw a bit. And then hopefully by the end of it, we'll, we'll all have some lovely badger pictures, okay? So I'm going to set up my camera on a little tripod now and try and get it to film my hands, okay? So um, bear with me. Well, I'm going to start doing the pencil. Okay, so I've just started to film this, and this is the second time I've come on now, and I realised that you couldn't see my pencil. So I'm going to do it now with a Sharpie. Then you can see my lines really clearly. You don't need to use a Sharpie, you could just use a pencil, okay? So it's up to you, but I'm just doing it in the Sharpie so that you can follow. Hopefully I don't make any mistakes because I can't rub a Sharpie out. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do then is I'm just going to do the top of the badger's head. Now I don't want to go all the way around because I don't want the lines to go through the badger's ears. So I'm just going to do a curved line. Let's check you can see on my full. It's a bit tricky to draw when I've got um, the camera there. Okay, I'm going to do a curved line up and over like that. So it's not too much like a rainbow, it's like a flat rainbow. Okay. Oh, nice well done, Edward. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave out a section. So I'm going to leave a section out and then I'm going to come down like that. Okay, this section here is where we're going to add our ear on. But just for now, I'm going to come onto my other side, make it symmetrical. So I'm going to try and balance it up. And I'm going to come down the other side, like that. So I've now got three curved lines. Okay, now a badger's ear is a little bit pointy. So I'm going to go up the mountain and then back down the other side of the mountain. And I'm going to do it on the other side. I'm going to go up the mountain and then back down the other side of the mountain with a bit of a curve at the top. Then, if you imagine this line going through here, I'm going to just add the inside of my ear with a little curve like that. Okay, so I've got my two badger's ears now. Lovely. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to just give it like some fluffy side cheeks. So I'm going to come out and in, and then out and in again. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to go out, in, out, in, like that. Okay, now I've done that, I always think it's really nice to get the eyes in, because as soon as you put the eyes in, it makes it come to life. So I want my eyes, I'm going to put my finger in, the, I'm going to put two fingers in the middle of my badger's face. Okay, and then, or do I want three? Maybe, no, I think I want two. Two fingers in the middle of my badger's face so that I can get my eyes a nice distance apart. And I'm going to do, I'm going to come down lower than the ear, just to about the top of these little fluffy bits for the cheeks. And I'm going to do a nice round circle like that. Put my fingers back in there. Um, Richard, we're just filming for a school. Okay, so I'm going to do my other eye on the other side. Okay, I'm going to put two little circles in there for the light. And then I'm going to fill in my eye. Okay, I'll leave you just to fill in your little eyes. Gives him a bit more of a character when you give him his eyes, doesn't it? He looks a bit more alive now. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do... Looks stoopy. Mm. Now, if you want to make it maybe more like a girl badger, you perhaps might want to give it some eyelashes. 
but I'm going to keep mine just as a little boy badger. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give him his nose. Now his nose, oh, I'm just going to wait. Can you see? Just wait for these to catch up a little bit. There's Edward busily colouring in his eyes. I like your eyes, Edward, they're cool. How's Alana getting on? Let's have a look. Oh, look at these. They're looking really good. Well done, everybody. Alana, can you, I don't know if you can see, but Alana, she's stuck with the pencil. So you might not be able to see her lines. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, whoops. There we go. Are you ready, Edward? Yeah. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do then is I'm going to the nose. Now the nose is a bit like a squashed jelly bean almost, but it's a bit like a triangle, kind of. It's a bit pointy at the bottom. So I'm going to curve around the top like that. But then when I go down, I'm going to slightly go downish and then up again. There we go. Give him a little bit of a smile. He's a cute one. Cute little badger. Okay, just wait for you to put your nose and your smile on. Oh, he looks awesome, Edward. <laughs> Look at Edward! Look how cool Edward is. Love it. I <laughs> love it, Edward. Well done. Okay, right. Oh, Alana, show, show the camera yours. Alana's gone for a girl badger. Look at her beautiful eyelashes. Oh, she just looks so adorable. Okay, right. The next thing that I'm going to do then is I'm going to pop in the feet. Okay? So the feet are going to go either side of the body down here and they're going to be sort of going off to the side because this badger is sitting on his bottom, okay? So I'm going to draw the foot in and I'm going to give him like three pads at the top of his foot. So to do that, I'm going to do a U shape first. I'm going to do a nice big U shape like that. Okay, do you want to go ahead and do that? Nice big U shape. Have the U shape kind of pointing outwards, if you can. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Just had Mr. Holway bring me a black current. Thank you very much, Mr. Holway. So, starting there. So you want to start in the middle, but have it going outwards. Oh, so this way. Look. Oh, it looks right, okay, yeah. It's good you're doing it upside down, Popper, aren't you? Perfect, Edward, perfect, Alana. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the three pads on the top of this. So I'm going to go up and down, up and down, up and down, okay? Oh, these are looking awesome. And do you know what, guys? I mean, Imogen, yours looks even better than mine. Yours looks brilliant, okay? But when we're doing our drawing, we're not really going for perfection. We're just going for a nice time, aren't we? We're having, we're just enjoying what we're doing. So I'm putting a circle in now for the pad. I'm putting a smaller one on each side and a bigger one in the middle. Okay, can you see the, our little paw prints coming into place? Now, we've only got one foot. How many more feet do we need? One. One more. So we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to now tilt it to the other direction. Okay, so we're going to do that great big U shape again. Okay, like that, going off into the other direction. And then we're going to put in our bumps. Okay, then we're going to add our paw. Yes, darling, <laughs> our lovely. I think my pen's starting to run out a little bit. Yes. Oh, thank you, Bobbit. Let's see if this is any better. Ooh. Okay. Right, it's a bit tricky drawing and not being able to turn the paper around. Okay, so now I'm going to just connect these two feet with his bottom, like that. Like a bit of a flat, open, rainbow shape. So it's not a straight, it's a slight curve. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in the arms. Now, I want to add a bit of fluff to my badger. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of go, I'm going to go in this direction, down to the foot, but as I go in this direction, I'm not going to do a straight line down. I'm going to go down, up, down, up, 
down, up. So if you just have a little practice with your finger, down, up, down, up, down, up, you can sort of visualise what you're going to do. So I'm going to go out and then in and then out and then in and then curve it round a bit. Okay, just gives those little bits of fluffiness on there. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go out and then in, out and then in, out and then in, out and then in. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do, awesome Edward, it looks really cool. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come, see where the eye is, I'm going to come down from the eye and I'm going to go into where these first fluffy bits were. And I'm going to go around and back into the foot. I'm going to put a little crease in there to show where his foot is. Okay? I'll show you imaging because you're upside down, aren't you? Okay, you. Yeah. Yep. Mine went behind the foot. That's okay, that doesn't matter. Mine's going behind the foot a little bit as well. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is, from here, oh, you want a bit more time? That's fine. Good, perfect. No, I haven't done this side yet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this line here and I'm going to go up and around. Not all the way to this arm and just come back in like that. Okay? Ah. Uh, you're doing brilliantly, guys. Okay, now what I want him to do, I want him to sit like he's holding his hands, like he's, in, he's having a bit of a think, okay? Or he's thinking, he's thinking, oh, what should I have for my tea? He's having a bit of a bit of a thinking time, so have him with his hands together. So to make his little hands come together, I'm going to go from this arm here, and I'm going to go up, not all the way to the mouth, but I'm going to go up into like a sausage shape, and then in, then another sort of shape, and then out, and then out, and then back in again. Then I'm going to, so if you do go ahead and do that one there, so it's like three wiggly sausages. It's like a capital E, isn't it? Can you see, it looks like a capital E? Yeah. In bubble writing. There you go, capital E for Edward. So yeah. that's one hand. Oh, that's a good hand. And then I'm going to, it is a good hand, yeah, it looks great. And then from this arm, I'm going to get the fingers to interlink by going up to there, like that. And then just joining this hand like that. And then we can see that it looks like his fingers are together. Okay? Now what I need to do, now I've got the hands in, I'm now going to just pop his little face in. So I'm going to come from these fluffy bits that are here. And I'm going to go slightly curving inwards like that. Okay, so he's got his hands in front of, his arms in front of his face a little bit. So I'm going to curve down. Stop at his hand, and then I'm going to do the same thing here, curving down, stopping at his hand. He's looking very cute, guys. Imagine yours is looking, your, all of them. Look, look what they're all doing. How cute are they all? Oh, Edward, yours oh, is adorable. Alana, can you have a look at yours? Might not be able to see mine. Look at that, I like those fluffy arms. Okay, now I'm going to put my pen away. That's all that done. The next thing I need now then is I do need a pencil. Okay, so I'm going to press fairly hard now. So, and you definitely will see this. And I'm going to go, can you see the inside part of our ear? I'm going to take the inside part of our ear and I'm going to take it down to the side of the eye. So I'm going to go down, 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 like that. Okay, hopefully you can see that going down, 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 and stopping there. And then, oh yeah, they are tinsy caps. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. And I'm going to the same on the other side. Down, 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 down. And then, can you see that very first line that we did? I'm going to go to the side here, just slightly over, and I'm going to take my line down to the eye. And I'm going to try and curve it slightly to make it look like it's got some sort of shape to it. Make it look like the like the head is so it's all a bit curvy. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now with my pencil, I'm going to, going to go ahead and start colouring in. So, 
I'm going to press fairly hard because obviously badges are black and white. But I think if I was to colour in now with my Sharpie, I would be wasting it. Which and they're already running out a lot, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, now this might start to make... Is this going to make the... Let's move the camera away a bit. Otherwise we're going to make the camera wobble, yes. Okay. Now I'm using... Can you see how I'm holding the pencil? I'm not holding it like this. I'm holding it because then I can get a lot more... I can colour in a lot quicker. Okay? Now when you get to this part just here, we just need to do a line across. We don't want to colour into the ear. We just want the middle part of the ear colouring in. Okay. Go on to the other oh, side. well done. Yeah, definitely go on to the side, Imogen. Well done. And we're trying to colour in the same direction, aren't we? No. Now, normally when I'm colouring in, I tend to sort of turn the page yeah. to help me colour, but it's a bit tricky when I'm trying to keep it still so that you can see what I'm doing. Do my little line there. In. Oh, he does look so cute. I think we need to give these badgers some names, our little family of badgers. John, that's mine. John the Badger. <laughs> now, I'm going to cut the nose in, but before we do, I'm going to just do a little bit of a lighty patch. Just to show a little bit of light catching on the nosy. Okay, so the film stopped then because um, we had a phone call come through. So um, while I've been on the phone to Grandma, I have, um, Alana has just been going over her pencil lines with a black pen. Okay, so that's what she's been doing. Okay, so let's get back to colouring in our badger. So I'm going to go over the arms now, nice and hard. With my pencil, like yeah, same darkness, yeah, good question, Imogen. Same darkness, colouring this in. Oh, I do, I do enjoy colouring in, children. When I did my degree at university, I had to do... I thought you went to I, college. Well, it was a university college, but when I went there to get my degree, um, my specialism was art, and... A lot of the things that I did, I did a lot of batiks, which is where, and I know lots of you have done batik with me, when you use the really, really hot wax and you put oh, that on yeah. the material. But nor when you do batiks and you're a little bit older, you will have to do your colour designs. And so you're choosing where, which part you want to be red, which part you want to be blue, which part you want to be green. So I spent quite a lot of time in the evenings just sitting there colouring in my own designs. And my mum and my dad used to laugh at me, saying that you go to university and all you do is colour in, Anne. You just colour in, colour in, <laughs> colour in. <laughs> but I had to colour in. I had to get my designs. I had to know what colours I liked, what colours worked well with one another. So what did you design then? Just the different batiks that I did. I really liked calligraphy and different lettering, so I'd do batiks with different letters and things on them. That was my preferred thing to do. So have you got a degree But now? since, um, well, yeah, I've got a teaching degree. Oh, yeah, if you're not Oh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, children, what do they think I do when I go off to work? <laughs> they just, oh, yeah, you're a teacher. Right, okay. So I've got his arms all done. Not me. Just go over a little bit. Can you see how I can make it a little bit darker if I press a little bit heavier? Yeah, if you go over it twice, you get... Oh, I'm being a little bit, I'm rushing now then. Look, I've gone over the line. Uh oh. Goodness gracious, Mrs. Holway. Oh, but look, these are still going. Look, they're doing a good job. Still colouring in, still colouring in. I'll have a little drink while you're still yeah. colouring. Yeah. Don't worry about mistakes, it's fine. It doesn't matter. I love the way that you fixed it and didn't worry. When you do an art, you can do it however you like. Oh, yeah, because if because you've done bigger eyes, so it'll look cuter. And then if you've done yeah, smaller eyes, definitely, it'll look big like eyes always make it look super cute. And eyelashes <laughs> make it look like a girl. <laughs> they do. All right, it's fun. It's just nice. My children have got sketchbooks, children, because they do like to do drawing a lot. And I was finding that we were having lots of just bits of paper just all over the place all of the time. So it's nice to have a sketchbook where they can keep everything together and then they can flick through 
all the different things that they've done. You like looking back through what you've been doing, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, because it reminds you of yeah. stuff that's really good artwork, like my Sonic and... Maybe if it's, you've got a birthday coming up, you perhaps might ask for a sketchbook. That might be nice. Yeah. Or maybe a folder. Maybe Mummy or Daddy have got a, a folder that you've got and then maybe you could collect all of your pieces of paper together. It's nice to keep them all together and... Be proud of what you've done. Or maybe even... Stick them on your bedroom. Exactly. Stick them on the fridge, I was going to say. that's You know that you've done a good job if your mummy puts it on the fridge. If they're yeah. really, really good, <laughs> yeah. then maybe your mummy will stick them in a the frame. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Then whenever you go and get milk, it always... Like, Although frames like... are expensive, children. I, my children did a really lovely painting the other day, and I was like, oh, definitely going to put that in a frame. And I went on Amazon. It was £15! I thought, oh gosh, I might have to rethink this because I want to buy three. <laughs> right, okay, are we, all, are we all caught up? Nearly. Right, okay, I'm going to move on, Alana. The going on to the feet. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm doing all my dark, dark grey first, Imogen. Dark, dark, dark. Dark, dark. Oh my gosh, we're really dark, going dark. wobbly on this table, aren't we? Yeah. This table's a bit rickety, rickety. Mm, it is. I don't know if you can see on the table, children. It's had um, lockdown, has not been kind to it. <laughs> no, there's loads of paint, paint on it. There's paint, paint there's, stains, stains, everything. there's all sorts, like and um, it's a clean table, but it's everything you could ever think of. It's a well used table. Everything isn't you it? could ever think of colouring with is stained on this table. Mm. <laughs> We've got quite a lot of stuff, haven't we? And then yeah. we, you can see where you've been painting well, because we don't have any newspapers to um, cover the table with. Like, we haven't got a messy mat at home like we have at school. A messy mat. Well, at, mess at school we've got messy mats. We put them on the we table. Do. They're like red or white. And oh, we have and red yeah. or yellow ones and we cover yeah. them with the table. They come in all sorts of different yeah. colours. Oh, no, we have big plastic sheets. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah we, they're, they're probably the same things. But we just call them messy mats. Because oh. you can get messy on them. The mats. The thing is, though, this table has got a messy mat on it, really, because it's got a cover on it. Yeah. We just need to... When we can leave the house, this when we can go to the shops again one day, we can um, go and buy another one. Right. Well, this is like stapled onto the table, so you can't get I it know. to wash it. What? No, you wouldn't, you don't oh. wash this sort of stuff anyway. It's just oilcloth. There's already two underneath this one. Oh, there. Yeah. I just buy a new one and staple it on top. <laughs> right. You don't remember the other one? The other one's like blue and grey. That matches the tea towels. Oh, blue and grey sounds really good. Mm. Oh, yeah, I see. I must Can you see it? Yeah, oh, oh, I easily I forget. How dare you take that one? Well, that one started to get a I think that got really badly stained with a curry once. Uh oh. And okay. that's the imaging. Here we go. Ours are tough stuff. Okay. To look oh, nice. They are looking good, aren't they? You need to colour in the hands very like. Here we go. It's hard like because you're, mm. you're trying to like do a curve because you want to keep it all in one line. Exactly. Like, but you can turn your book, don't forget. You can turn your book if it makes it easy for you. Paper. Yeah, all your piece of paper, yeah. All your card yeah, don't all, your br all your cardboard box. Yeah. yeah. Like you don't have to move your hands, but move the paper to Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to colour in these pads, but I want them in a bit of a lighter um, grey, so I'm just going to press a bit lighter. There you go, look at that. So same pencil, different colour. You can use Okay. That. And do it again on this side. Now, my hands are always a bit quicker than my children, so I always say that's because my hands are older. They are well practiced. <laughs> so don't worry, thinking, oh my goodness, Mrs. Hoy, why are your hands so fast? You can always pause the video. Well, yeah, you definitely can pause the video. But hopefully they'll be keeping up with us because I'm trying to keep up with you, children. <laughs> Remember, in the, if you see my pencil, really you can see that. how I've been um, holding it. Where's the camera? There's the camera. Right, look, if you see the pencil, you can see how um, it's kind of been eroded down where I've been colouring in you can see that I've held it in that same on that same angle okay I'm going to do the, the hands the same colour are you oh, trying yeah. to keep up with me because I've only done one foot have you yes I did, is that because you carried on doing the sharpie maybe might be yeah uh... okay oh he's good. just so adorable or she well mine's a he oh and you've yeah. got a she yeah they do look really lovely. So we've got John, 
emotional one. I don't know. Let's do it. Um, the badger. Bert just like badger. Bert the unicorn. Bert the unicorn. <laughs> I did do Bert the unicorn, didn't I? Well, no, but, 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 I do like alliteration. Um, well, we are colouring in. Well, it's... Not in um, no, you not yet. do... Bert... Hmm. No. I was about to say Bertie. Um, <laughs> Bertie uh, Junior. No, Bert 2.0. Hello, Bert 2.0. Um, B, oh. B, 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 um, Bert 2.0. Okay. Bert 2. You could just have right. um, Hector. Hector the Badger. Yeah. Right, Hector. now, yeah, with I my remember. pencil on the side, I'm going to do a very, very light. Super light. V super, super light. Super, super light. So you won't be able to see it on the camera. Shading. Mega. Just on the sides of his little face. And I'm going to try and come around in a little bit of a curved way. Again, just to try and make it look a bit rounded, give him a bit of a cheeky, chirpy face. We should be even lighter than like the foot pads. Definitely, yes. And I'm going to do the same on this side as oh, well. Oh, I've done that foot pads on there. Haven't even finished both feet. Don't panic, don't panic. And children, if you at home can't keep up with us, just like me. Then you can just pause, pause the, video. the video, it's fine. Pause the video, catch pause up. Pause the video. Really easy to pause the video, we won't mind. Okay, I'm just going to use my finger just to do a bit of a rubbery rub rub just there. Can I give mine rosy cheeks? You definitely can give yours rosy cheeks because if you want to. Yes, rosy. Ah, oh, rosy the badger, there we go. You can see, I'm just rubbing with my finger. I'm just rubbing in that sort of, in a curved sort of shape. Sort of rubbing it, fading it into oh, the yeah. white. Oh yeah, look at this. How cool is that? Oh yeah, how cool is that? It is cool. Okay. Like we did on the chalk, we used our hands to mix this. We oh, did. Look at my finger. Yeah, black finger. Black finger. <laughs> black, black finger. So be careful, don't go around <laughs> your mummy and daddy's furniture with your black fingers. Right. At the minute he looks like he's just floating in midair, so I'm just going to give him a little bit of ground to sit on. Don't worry, if you're not ready, you can just pause the video. This is pause the video. Right, okay. Giving it a little bit of grass to sort of sit on. There we go. I thought it was a rainbow. Oh, I think, well, shall we put a rainbow behind him? Yes. It is locked down. And as he is, do you know what, Edward? I think that's a great idea because it would make the grey and the black really stand out, I think, wouldn't it? Okay, so first thing I need to do then is I'm just going to do a curve, curve line. And it's going to go right out like that. Okay. There we go. Right. And I'm going to do a curved line going. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Where's that going? Indigo, there. Violet. Is violet like the purpley, the pinky mm. purple one? Is that the inner one? You want the inner one to be the darker one. There we go. So there's my sort of rainbow curve. Now this rainbow is going to go behind my badger. I like my choice of. And like just pretend the line's going through. Yeah, exactly. These are my pride and joy. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then there's my seven there. There we go. Mary of York gave battle in Hastings. Hastings. What colour does what what colour does Hastings stand for? No, vain. <laughs> Richard of York gave battle in vain. Hastings. Hastings. Uh, that stands for. Uh, helicopter red. Yes, helicopter mm -hmm. red. <laughs> okay. I can choose a colour, I think. Next. So I'm going to get my next colour. Where is the orange? Have you got the orange there? Oh, thank you. No, it's not it's it's nice. And, oh, sorry, I didn't put the colours away. I'm going to put that one over the red that I've already done and try and blend them together slightly. Okay. That's all Mrs. Hallway ever does. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, 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 blend. Blend, blend, blend. My name so, is Mrs. Blend. rainbows aren't always particularly straight, stripy lines, are they? Nope. They sort of merge together. Blend, blend, no lie, talk about it, blend. 
Okay, we've seen quite a few rainbows during lockdown, haven't we? Yeah. Well, on one. windows and just natural ones. Yeah. Well, we had found quite a lot of rainbows in the garden when we had the water fight, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. And now, next one, yellow. So I'm going to go right up to the orange. Go over the orange slightly. And then come underneath. And you can see how they're all just merging together, can't you? Be careful not to go over his ear. He doesn't have a yellow ear, does he? Oh, you've only just got to his ear. Ah. Mm. I got to his ear in the red. Okay. Okay. Richard of York gave. I need a G in now. Battle in Hastings. Silverstone. Silverstone. Richard of York gave battle in Silverstone. Silverstone. That stands for silver. Oh, right. Uh, our badge is a bit silvery, isn't it? There we go. That's why you need Richard of York gave battle in Silverstone. Let's do a bit of colour there, Mine. 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 Oh, you're doing a lovely job, guys. And I like oh. your badges, rosy cheeks, Alana. Thank you. Well, they are lovely. Rosie, the rosy cheeked badger. Cute. Beware of Simon's cow. Yeah, Edward's um, renamed. Well, I. Well, Edward's renamed his badger Simon Cow. Has he? It, no, cow should be, a cow should be called Simon Cow. Yeah, Simon Cow. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to have cow. Well, it's not actually Simon Cow, oh, it's, it's Simon really Cow. I know, but if we drew a cow, we should That's call it better. Simon Cow. Wait, uh, Simon, say your name back backwards. No, no. miss. <laughs> <laughs> That's Edward <laughs> loves that joke. You do love that joke, don't you? And you might have new that you don't want to have a new yeah, hopefully there should be one coming through the post. Ooh, yay. Yellow. How are you finished your rainbow and I'm only Because, you know, I've got old hands. My yes. hands are... Very, very old oh, I think hands. I want to do very, very, very wrinkly. Let's go for this one. There we go. Which of your days battling Superstone? Right. Which oh, like I think he looks great. Popping out of the um. It's a very Which of your battle in Venezuela? Oh, it's Venezuela. <gasps> Richard of York gave battle on Venus. Venus. <laughs> okay. There you go. I think I need to just make my red a bit darker. Yeah, in the van. With a blender. With a blender. Yeah, with a blender. I got to get you to death. Get my orange again. I think my orange got a little bit lost. Plenty. I forgot one of the primary colours. I know uh, red and blue are the primary colour, but what's the other one? Yellow. Pink. So how can you make yellow? You can't. You can make secondary colours. But you can make yellow with you, orange and red. No, 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 no. You make orange with red and yellow. Okay, right. Because the, the yellow kind of... I think my rainbow is done, but I think what I'm going to do now is just going to add a little bit of green to my grass just down here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that while I've still got the green in my hand. It looks really weird, my ground. 
looks odd. Right. Blue. Okay. I think I feel the rainbow. Oh, oh, oh. Don't want to get in trouble with Alana, putting the green back in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> naughty, naughty. <laughs> naughty, naughty. This is my badger finished. I hope you enjoyed drawing along with us. My children are still going, so don't worry if you haven't finished. Like I said, at any point in this video, you can pause it and any videos that are coming up. Now, this rainbow has given me an idea. I think we've done drawing this week. Next week, what I'd really like to do is a collage with you. I think if you can go on a little bit of a paper hunt, any leaflets you've got in your recycling bin, any wrapping paper, if you have any magazines that you've finished reading, if there are any cookery leaflets. And I know sometimes when you go to the shops, you get little leaflets at the tills. What I'd like you to do is collect as many different types of colored paper as you can. You might have maybe an art kit that's got some paper in it. What I'd like you to do is to find as many different red bits of paper, yellow bits of paper, orange bits of paper, all the different colours of the rainbow. And I'd like us next week to do a collage of a rainbow. Okay, so next week you can find as many things like that. That would be brilliant. And we'll need some glue. Maybe you have a glue stick. Or maybe you've got some sellotape that we can use, okay? Or maybe we can just lay them all down and take a photo of it, okay? So you don't need to worry about how you're going to attach them. If you've got glue, brilliant. If you've got sellotape, brilliant. If you haven't got those things, don't need to worry. We can just make it and take a photo of it because then you've got what you've done, haven't you, okay? Okay, so my children have all finished. So should we show the no. camera all of our lovely badges? No. So here we have Imogen's. Very nice, Imogen, well done. I love that. I love the way his feet are nice and wide. Here we have a little cute one here. This is Alana's with her eyelashes. And then Edward, oh, are you still going? I thought you'd finished my love, sorry. So here's Edward, he's still going. Well done, Edward. Thank you for coming to do this drawing with me. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It's nice to spend some time doing a bit of colouring in. It's nice and relaxing. So like I said, if you can collect those little bits and pieces ready for next week, that would be brilliant. And I would really like to see your badges. So if you've done any badges that you feel really super proud of, if you want to email them into the office, then I can see them. And then maybe I could give you a little bit of a shout out next week. Okay, so take care, have a wonderful week, enjoy doing your badges, and I'll see you soon. Bye!